This is in the uh, the off season now. This particular one is from ESPN. Debo Samuel, the reaction to the loss last year. As you go back and look at it, it's just crazy. Kind of like you stated, uh, even talking to Kyle about it during his career of coaching, he said he never seen anything. And even talking to his dad, he ain't seen nothing like it either. So it's just like, I mean, the team was beat up. The team was down. You know, the team was sad. But it really didn't hit as hard as it's supposed to, if that makes sense. Because at the end of the day, we knew, like, when we lost both our quarterbacks, it's like, what are we going to do? It's kind of like you really don't have a chance at this point. I mean, it, it, it hurt for sure, but... uh I wish we, we took one more quarterback into that game and uh, it probably would have been a different outcome. See, now that that one, I, I realize what he says at the end, probably would have been a different outcome. I think that's the way every athlete thinks. Sure, sure. I didn't, that one doesn't bug me as much as the other one that we're about to play. Right, right. That one, I would agree with you, but that is a little bit of a shot at not Kyle Shanahan, but to me at Jimmy Garoppolo when he says... I wish we could have taken one more quarterback into that game. Well, you had Jimmy Garoppolo over there smiling ear to ear. And, you know, maybe he could have been that one other quarterback had he been more dedicated to being ready to play in a win at all cost game. Maybe. I mean, we're forever going to not know what the story was. Right. On, I think on, we've on seen what happened with him. I think we can read the and, tea leaves and know that he was not going to risk his future in order to, to like play at 50% or 60% I mean, for, for Kyle Shanahan. Nor, nor should he, I would argue. Right. I mean, knowing that he's going to go out and get 75 million somewhere well, else. I, I, I love the, what, what we've done to, to Jimmy with that departure. First of all, with not really knowing what was going on with his body. Right. But imagine what if, what if he could have played through it? Just for a sec, imagine he could have played through it. All right. What would you have done at your job? So your boss, who's tried to fire you at least twice. Look. Potentially three times. Look, look, look. Okay? Now, when his bacon needs to be saved, they're going to come to you and be like, look, this is only temporary. We'd like to hire you as a temp. I know we fired you twice. We'd like to hire you back as a temp. For a very, very dangerous job. Warriors live. As soon at Ballast Point, JD's out. <laughs> as soon as the dangerous job is done, we're gonna let you go again. You're out. And obviously your contractual future will lie on that. What would you do? Uh me? Yeah. Get the, do it. Get the hell out of here. Do it. No. Time now do for it. our stat of the game. <laughs> Brought to you by No. Un doing it, coach. No, you're not. Doing it. No. For no. our boss? I'd run through a wall for Matt. <laughs> I had to check my notes. <laughs> the hygiene? He hasn't fired you twice. He hasn't fired me once. Exactly. That was all those other bosses. <laughs> all right, here's the Too other. soon. <laughs> not really. Coming up on 10 years. Um man. Um, this is the other one from Debo. This is the one where I'm like, uh, breaks. Tap breaks. I mean, we can just go back to first quarter, first half. Just look how well our defense was actually playing. It's a great point. Keeping Jalen in, in, in the pocket, which he doesn't like to do at all. You can just see, I mean, fourth and six, you grant them a catch, and you know it's not a catch on, on fourth down. And that caused them to get down there at that point. I mean, then kind of reflect after that, Brock fumble. I mean, they're right there at the, the 20, 25-yard line. I mean, all right, that's points right there. And then just kind of... The amount of penalties that was just like, it was just outrageous. What a coincidence again. We turn the ball over right there again, and that's, it's, it's 21 7. So the offense wasn't doing anything nothing. to be like literally nothing. Nothing. Our defense was doing as what they were supposed to, and I, I felt like if Brock was in and our quarterback and how our offense moves, I mean, it would. It, I don't think it would have been close if that makes sense. So, what were the final? Well, you say it wouldn't have been close. Like you think you could have beat him by double digits? Yeah, like we beat everybody else. Yeah, my God. Now, some people might think that you know that sounds like sour grapes. For it's not you, sour. It's not it's, sour grapes at all. It's confidence. It's just. It's just. It's just. This is what I see every day. Reality. Is, I mean, yeah, we. Come on, man. I mean, I'm not. I'm not salty at all. I just <laughs> speak facts. You know. At all. Come on, man. Is that Adam Shine? Is that who that is? 
Mad Dog Sports Radio is Adam Shine, who, by the way... Not leading the witness at oh all. Oh, my God. He's totally egging him on. Like, that is absolutely not the way Adam feels. He's just sitting there going, oh, man, my man Debo's on one today. Right. Like, I love at the end where he's like, it's reality. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's obvious reality it's obvious. that the Niners are double digits better than the Eagles. It's clearly reality, Debo. It's like we beat everybody double digits. <laughs> Adam, clearly, to me... Uh, he assessed at a certain point that he's like, if I just keep pushing him, he's going to keep going and going. Yeah. He knew that he had news breaking info coming out of, of, of Debo's mouth, that, that, that entire comment. I didn't like personally any of that because he's talking about all kinds of other stuff, penalties and turnovers, things that Debo, I'm sorry, those are your fault. As a team, you can, oh, well, we would have won except for we turned the ball over and committed a bunch of penalties. Right. Dude, that's part of football. That's your fault. I'm totally comfortable with any Niner player if they had simply said, look, we lost all our QBs, we lost our main QB, and therefore we feel like we didn't get to perform the way we wanted to perform, and that stinks. Like that I don't find as right, an excuse right. or as Hassan Reddick would say, a bunch of boo-hooing. Yeah. I don't think that. But all the other stuff is not going to resonate with people. Right. It's and, just not. Well, and that right there sounds like a lot of boo-hooing to me. And he opens up with a little rat-a-tat-tat at Kyle Shanahan by saying, you know, on a, it all starts with a fourth down play that we all know wasn't a catch. He should have thrown the red flag. There's no doubt. Right. But we didn't really know that until after we saw like three or four replays, yep. at which time the next play had been run. And you remember that play... When you all watched it live, I personally didn't immediately think, oh, that's not a catch. No. It would have been a risky throw of the red flag on the opening drive of a game. Risky throw, yes. However, when you realize that it's fourth down and it's going to set up first and goal. At the six. Yep. It sort of felt like a worthwhile risk. I agree with you. Right but spent. it wasn't such an easy slam dunk no of a doubt. red flag. No doubt. Sometimes, I look, to me. There's a bunch of ways you can trust this. There's your own eyes. There's the eyes in the booth. And then there's the people on the field. Right. And the people on the field, to me, are usually, in real time, the ones who know the most. They're showing you what they think about whether or not it was a catch. Hufanga was going crazy. He's going crazy. He's waving his arms. Because he's right there. And, like, if you're there on the field, you got a way better chance of knowing if that ball was trapped or or whatever. Right. And like when Philly rushes know. to the line of scrimmage, that too. that's to me the, the biggest indicator. And you don't challenge it, and it's a touchdown, but you know, for Debo to then rat-a-tat-tat Kyle and say, well, we all know it wasn't a catch. Well, I mean, really, we didn't all know we it don't. wasn't a catch until a couple of snaps later when they showed the replay again. It's like, oh, God, he should have challenged it. Well, that's too late. And so, that's the way that goes. After all of those Debo comments from the offseason, have the Eagles forgotten? Well, of course not. Soon as yesterday's game was over, pop around to this morning, Hassan Reddick wakes up in Philly, finds a local sports radio station, and here he comes. You know, as this season been going on, not much. Talk is cheap. You know, they get to come back in the link. It was a lot of boo-hoos last year, a lot of crying, a lot of what if, a lot of this, a lot of that. They get a chance to come back in here, line that up, and prove it again. Well, and that's coming directly from the guy who hurt Brock Purdy yeah. with uh, with with his hit. And so, to me, I I would find a middle ground much more comfortable. I do not like Debo Samuel bringing up turnovers, penalties. That is a lot of boo hooing. However, on the other side of this, and I know I'm asking for rational behavior, which will happen with neither fan base, but. It is completely disingenuous, I find, for the Eagles and their fan base to be like, huh, yep, we're the better team. We proved it. We beat you. It's like, no, that's you have to. I know we have this sort of tough exterior thing that we're all supposed to do in football. I was like, no excuses. They're not allowed to do it. I'm sorry. When the quarterback goes out, it is. It just is. To me, it's fair. Yeah. You are a lesser way, lesser sure. team immediately, if you had beaten the Chiefs in the Super Bowl and Mahomes had broken his arm, are you like, well, we proved we're the better team? 
No, you won. Well, if you broke you his won. arm, then yes, you were the better team. But that's and this not is the where, goal. Like that's sort well, of a, that's that a, is actually that is the goal. That's a byproduct. The goal is not to break people's arms. I the know goal some, is to neutralize the other team's uh, ability to beat I, you. I know there right? are some defenders who that is privately their goal. But we should get Romo on. Oh, I know. I know. Believe He's me. He's a beauty. I know the cloth from which these people are cut. Correct. I get it. And I'm not saying that Hassan Reddick was targeting Brock Purdy's UCL, but I do know that in a game like that, when you're going to have a chance to hit the quarterback, you're going to hit the quarterback. And if you have a chance to hit the quarterback's arm, you're going to hit his arm. Right. And if you that, can hit his thumb or his forearm or his elbow or, or his shoulder. Do it. You're taking you that shot. It. Right, but the injury to me, you don't get credit for the injury, you get credit for the hit. And you don't know if the if the hit is going to lead to an injury or not. You, you get, get bonus points for the injury. You get credit for a sack and you hit him hard and that's great, but the byproduct was he was not able to get up from that one. And and right. so like does that what does that prove more than if you had sacked him and he just got up and it was like It doesn't prove cool, more, but it's, it's a more effective hit. Yeah. If you have a chance to, and this is what I've said about this brotherly shove play this entire time, if you can find a way to get a clean shot on the quarterback, either at his knees or at oh. his helmet, you're going to take it. I don't know how. If you can how. knock out Jalen Hurts from oh, this game, sure. If, you, if you're Dre Greenlaw and you have a chance to make a legal, quote-unquote, hit on the quarterback that might cause him wow. to miss the game... You're taking it. Yeah, but legal is not even legal anymore. Kareem Jackson with the Broncos has been suspended for the second time this year. Right. And this time it was for a hit that didn't even get flagged. It didn't even it wasn't even a penalty, let alone any any discipline within the game.